either another reefer trailer, a refrigerated trailer, or a cold storage place, or if you can bring down as much ice as possible, please. Um, we need some help over here. Our reefer truck is uh, giving us a lot of problems, and we cannot lose all this food. So please, if you can, try to help us find another reefer truck uh, that we can borrow or rent or whatever right now. We need something that we that could help us. Well, we didn't ask for this. We didn't ask for any of this. All we did was we stayed here and picked up the pieces. That's what we did. We're trying to keep the fight going down in D.C. That's what we did. We didn't do nothing wrong. So just so you guys know, we didn't do anything wrong to be treated like this or to be called a homeless encampment or anything like that. We're not homeless. There's people here that can go back to work. I can go back to Jersey and try to get a, a jobs going with construction. <coughs> All right, so there's nowhere to go home to for some of us, Esther. Uh, some of us lost everything and don't have a home to go to. Some of them have to start over from scratch. So we need you guys. We need you guys to help out. All right, listen yeah, up, guys. Much, listen up. Get close. Get close. So let's get, get in. Bring Come it here. in. Get in and then shut the fuck up. Easy. <laughs> yeah, what you say? All right, easy. Here we go. It's Tomahawk MX. 863 Tomahawk Run Road, Hedgesville, West Virginia. Nice. And guess what, everybody? Where are you? Yeah! Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. Show yeah. How far away is that? Well, there you all go. West Virginia's better than Maryland. <laughs> Freedom! This one came late last night. Tomahawk, the owner of Tomahawk, got a call from his county commissioner stating some ordinances that seem pretty bogus because we can't find them, um, stating that we can't stay there. And um, when he kind of, I don't want to say pushed back, but questioned, they started talking about permits. And now he is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a very scary thing for a business owner to start to have to risk. You guys, we went public at 8.35 last night and at nine o'clock last night, the county commissioner is calling our location and sabotaging and telling them we can't stay there. This is what is happening across the board. We keep getting messages about Hagerstown. What's going on with Hagerstown and what's going on with these other convoys? What's a Hagerstown? Hagerstown was great. We had a we had a great almost month there. Yeah. Um, and you know, we as the People's Convoy decided that we needed to head out here to raise awareness, and uh, we don't have any representation of the People's Convoy in Hagerstown. Yeah. Um, I've seen quite a few things pop up where people are trying to get Amazon wish lists or places to stay, and they're well, there heard, is no representation for that. I heard some people are donating to the People's Convoy to other people. And have you seen any of the donations come to the People's Convoy from that? <clears throat> no. They, unless you hear myself, Marcus, Brian, Chris, specifically ask for something, it's not for us. Yeah. It ain't coming from us. There's people who just want to ruin things everywhere they go. Yeah. And, um... <clears throat> People they, just they looking can, for a free ride. They can try. Yeah, they can try, but they, they do not represent the people. Some people might be claiming that American Freedom Convoy or that other convoys in Hagerstown are um, asking for donations in other convoys' names. And I want to assure you that is not happening. That could not be furthest from the truth. And if it is happening, they're absolutely not with us. We're on Facebook. <clears throat> we have a ministry page called Outlaw Reform Ministries. And I am talking to Trucker G and all the organizers. I've already heard Trucker G's side. He did a video the other night. 
And he straight up called me a pedophile. He talked downright trash about me. And he brought the organizers into it. He says, I've already talked to the organizers of People's Convoy, and they feel the same way. You don't dare come back here. I've seen where the, uh, in the comment sections of uh, different videos, whatnot, that if I come back, my mother and, and Pam and, and those people will be safe, but I will take a downright beating. And that's fine. If that's what I must take. If that's the cross, I must bear. That was a hot mess inside a dumpster fire inside a train wreck. <laughs>